Rob, commiserations wasn't to be in the semi-final, but can you take a lot from your visit to Newcastle? Yeah, look, I'm in, I'm enjoying the Premier League. I don't don't believe I'm at my best. I'm winning games and and just sort of hanging in there at the minute, which I suppose I suppose sort of quite proud about in a way, you know, because could could be on nothing really um, for the way I played. I don't think I got the most out of it. Still, don't really feel I've sort of turned up, but that'll come. You're just trying to find you in the Premier League again after the break from not playing in the Premier League for a few years and coming back. Is it all about routine and rhythm for you? Yeah, routine. I think I think a lot's changed. Obviously, midweek pro tours, different days, other stuff. Just moved house and all. And um, yeah, I suppose there's been more in in the background. I suppose going on. But look, I did, I enjoy it every week. I wouldn't say that the results and the performances are what I like. But um, yeah, to still be sort of pitching at the minute, four weeks in, you know. Um, yeah, there's more there. That's what I want out. In a race for the O2, the fact that MBG is pulling away at the top of the table, was that good for the rest of you that he's pulling away and the rest of you all kind of bunched together now? Well, look, I suppose, look, Michael seems to, I think last year he pulled away a bit, didn't he? Um, he's, he's got an habit of her doing that and, and he gets the results. He was brilliant again tonight. He just sort of gets away of it here and there and all. So, um, no, nah, good luck to him. I can't really focus on Michael because I have to focus on myself, but... Um, yeah, once once I get me head down and I get me game out, I, do you know, I'm so far from 100 average at the minute, I'm like that. All my timing's a little bit wrong, you know. Um, but it, it will come and it will settle, that's what I would say. Rob, thanks very much. Thanks. Rob, you're sort of famous for going under the radar. You, you sneak up on the rails in tournaments. and But do you feel genuinely that when you do, as you, you know, you've started well and you're, you're sort of there or thereabouts, but can you win this? When you hit your top form, can you win this tournament? I believe so, I believe so. I've been close a couple of times, I think, when it was one week. It's a big change, a massive change, I have to admit, to sort of come down off the first game and have the time in between. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just sort of not used to it being half hour or an hour later, you know. Um, look, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I think it's a great format and I've really wanted it and I've, I've wanted to be here. I'm very grateful to be here. But, um, yeah, I will have to improve. I will say that. You've moved house. Is, is that all sorted now? And so you can sort of concentrate totally on this because we forget that you're human beings after all. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose I move. Very lucky to have the partner Georgia. What I've got, you know, she she's done most of it. I've done a little bit early. I do. I don't like chipping in and doing manual labour these days. <laughs> it's not. It's not really good for me. <laughs> but um, but at the same time, you know, I'm just grateful. Um, I, did, I suppose all I want to do is just play a little bit better. And I actually thought I was going to hit it there in that game. I was relaxed more. I was. I think first couple of legs, what I won was a couple of twelves. But but there's just not, yeah, the the timing of it, the 68, it, the 60s, perfect, Mr. Double Four, and look, I could pick holes in myself every day of the week sitting here at the minute, but um, it will get better, and that will get better, no doubt about that, and and then we can push on, and look, the main thing is that you get top four at the end of it. Thank you very much. Cheers. Rob, it's uh, Gazi for you next week and next two. Looking forward to playing in front of an English crowd as opposed to in Cardiff. I suppose so. He's the only one what I practice with. I've got to drop him next week, I suppose. You know, no mates with Gezi. He's going to have to sit on a different table. <laughs> Definitely. Nah. Do you know, I'm really good friends with Gezi. I love his company. Um, but at the same time, just business next week. And do you know, the crowds have been fantastic. I would say that. Look, even Cardiff weren't bad on me. It's, it's, it's got nothing to do with a crowd for the performances. It's, it's literally, I'll take them on my own shoulders and. Look, if you're not there or your timing ain't right, you know, I, did, I probably could have done with a little bit more of a pro tour this week. But um, I look forward to that game next week. Me and him have always have a bit of banter. That's good. Good for myself. Three semi-finals from the first four weeks. Would you have taken that from the start or would you like to, to have got a weekly side on the board earlier? I'm here to win. I don't want to make the numbers up. So I suppose it's not gone the way what I wanted. Um, but at the same time, look, I'm still pitching. I'm still looking half all right. It's not like I've ruined myself yet. So if I was sitting there sort of having a chat with you, no points, and I'd be thinking sort of next week I've got to try and grab one or two or whatever. Um, at the minute, nah, not at all. It's, it's just about getting myself right, and I'll do that. And now I'm all sort of, hopefully I'll be settled. Hopefully I can get me undies out of a cardboard box the way I've been living. It's been doing me nothing, to be honest. I can't even find my own shower gel with OCD. I could carry on and all, I could moan here all day. I really could. But um, 
I've really got to be honest with you. Yeah. Hopefully, my pants are in the right place, and once once they come back, I suppose, yeah, I, do, I can I can sort of get the game right. Without no pants, no bottle. <laughs> Rob, is it a different feeling having to do Pro Tour, Pro Tour, Premier League rather than the other way around? Yeah, I suppose so. I've always liked a routine. It's, it's not terrible when you haven't really got one because I've learned to deal with that. I just think um, I did, I got so used to having Mondays off. Mondays were like my Sunday. It was biblical day, you know, and now all of a sudden I'm playing on a Monday and... Yeah, fantastic. No, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I think it's great, but look, it's, it's just a little bit of change, I suppose. Life change, other changes, and and look, I will get up to, up to sort of well, get up with the program, I suppose, because we all have to. If you want to win and you want to put your best foot forward, there's no point sitting there and saying, sort of, um, yeah, I can't do this and I can't do that because I can do it, but it'll only be when it sort of permits, you know. And you made your debut in the Premier League as the world champion. Far more experienced now. Cool, what different... a learning curve. <laughs> no. I know it's a different format, but how, how do you feel more as a player now compared to the previous experience? It's been a few years since... I think, I think talking about experiences and stuff, and we watched the night, sort of like, even the first game, you know, Luke was brilliant when he did get going. And um, a lot of time for Luke, and I just sort of picked him up at the end, you know. But one darters and stuff, I, did, I have to admit... It's, it's, yeah, I, I'm pretty good at that. When when even I feel like I'm playing terrible at the minute, I really do. It's like running O'Sullivan, no cue action. <laughs> but um, no, I feel don't feel at my best at the minute, but I can still get results, and I think that's positives just to sort of keep going forward and and keep pushing. But when it clicks, I expect to win, and um, that's where I want to be. Jeff, thank you. Hi, Rob. You, you you say you're playing terrible at the moment, but you have just beaten the world champion, the reigning world champion, does it give you any more confidence when you think of that? Look, he's, he's great, I've, I've played Luke e for, I don't know, he's battered me a few times in the, in the last couple of years, but um, no, I enjoy I enjoy his games and stuff and he's a great player, he's, he's look, thoroughly deserved world champion, I don't, I don't think, I don't think there's an element of fear now for most when you go out there, you know, it's all about now turning up. If you don't turn up, you don't get, and if you're not getting, you go home with a little quivered lip like my one this week, you know. Like, but um, no, it's all about competing first thing, but then the second thing is trying to pick up wins, and it. And look, we're all on the same par. We all start in the same round, and we all have to try and make sure that we we're at our best or at the best version for the night. And 16 weeks is a marathon; it's not a sprint. So. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying it though, that's the main thing. You know, I can moan about it, I can sit here, but I'm enjoying it. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Just, just one more on the house group, Rob. With that, with that going on in the background. Don't you... mention my pants again. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. I was getting to it. Please don't. Did, did you kind of realise at the start of the campaign the first few weeks might be about just hanging on in there and you almost time your run as it, as it goes on? Yeah, I think I'll improve as I go. Now I'm going to put pressure on myself, and I? So, um, nah. It, it, look, it's one of them things. Look, it's easier for me to do my job from the middle of the country than what it is doing it from the bottom. So hopefully, I don't know. I, did, I had it this week and I thought, oh, I'll reap the benefits. I didn't drive or nothing. And then I'll go and play Pro Tours and that was the end of that. You know, I thought, where's Hastings? I'm going back. <laughs> but um, no, nah, realistically, I suppose, look, life's going to be easier for me. It, it, uh, don't matter where your socks are or your pants, really. But... Um, <laughs> But realistically, yeah, life's going to be easier for me. And I've always struggled in old because I drive myself a lot of places, 288 miles to Wigan and stuff like that. It takes enough out of you. You get home a day later because I won't go. Obviously, after playing on the Sunday, sort of won't go in the night time because I'm usually knackered if I have a decent run. And what I don't want to do is sort of go in the night time and then I feel myself, oh, I've still got that drive. So then I want to go home before I've played the way it was before. So it's not really like that now. Um, I think everything has settled. It's just just a bit of a change, you know. And and the great thing is now switching the calendar to the way it is. I'll go home. I've got five days with the family this week. I'll get to see my youngest. He's crazy over me at the minute. <laughs> I really would. He, he phoned me at twenty past eleven the other night, and he's like, "Dad, where are you?" You know, <laughs> absolute fantastic as a three-year-old. Not really been used to that because I spend a lot of time away, but. Um, have a great relationship with all the kids, but yeah, I have to admit he sticks out at the minute. Have a great five days, enjoy that, and then come back all refreshed. And 
yeah, try and put my best foot forward for next week. I, I didn't realise it was a complete relocation. That's a big move for the family as well, isn't it? I think. I didn't struggle with it, I just struggled mentally with it really. <laughs> she struggled with it. <laughs> no, it's obviously over 200 miles, but like I said, it's all for a benefit and for the job. And if I can do better, look, this game's so big now, and I can't believe I've done five or six years where I was anyway. I always felt like I played on the back foot sometimes for a bit of tiredness, and, and it's my own fault, you know, you live where you live. But um, to gain that time back now, get back on Sundays, get more time with the family and, and actually structure my time a little bit better, which I used to think I could do before, but obviously it was very limited getting home days one day later every week, so you lose that evening. Time you drive back, you're tired, don't have a great day. So um, no, just enjoy life a little bit more and try and get a bit more quality family time. And if I get that, I'm sure I'll, I'll get out of my little sulk at the minute. and. <laughs> get out of my little mood and yeah start enjoying it even more Brilliant. thank you